I'm a school nurse working within Wolverhampton with various different children, many who have behaviour problems, hence why I decided to take part in the programme to improve and increase my skills within this area. One of the boys I have worked with over the last six months has shown some profound results following the programme using a variety of remedies that have been available throughout the programme. These results would not have been possible if it hadn't been for the cooperation and commitment of his mum. So now we will ask mum to describe Michael's behaviour before he went on to the programme. His behaviour beforehand, it was totally off the wall. Um, he was from one extreme to the other. Um, he was very, very withdrawn and uncommunicative at school. Um, and at home, he was strangling himself, throwing himself about, trying to run away, wanting to kill himself, physically wanting to hurt himself all the time. Um, and it got to the stage where you don't know what else to do about it. it. It's really, it gets you down so much, you just don't know what to do. You don't know which is the best way to handle it. You carry him on with his normal medication um, to stop the fits. But with his fits, they're not the same as uh, the normal fits. Um, the side effect or part of the fitting is um, aggression, violent behaviour. Um, but it gets to such an extreme. You, just ready to lose it because you're not sure how to deal with it. Could you describe Michael's behaviour since starting the programme? Since he started the programme, um, he's, he's like a different child. Um, he'll communicate with you, whereas before he was withdrawn, he wouldn't speak. Um, he would just react aggressively and violently. Now he will sit down and he will have a conversation with you and he's sort of got a balance. There's more of a balance with him now. He's sort of, his emotions aren't extreme anymore from one thing to the other. You know, from from one extreme to the other, he's not he's got like more of a that. Middle. There's more of a middle ground, yeah. There's more of a level ground with him. So we've talked about how he's at home and how you've seen a lot of improvement and what kind of changes in behaviour have they noted at school? Uh, Michael's not withdrawn anymore at school. Um, he will communicate with them, whereas he was withdrawn. Um, and they're finding that he is very assertive now. Um, whereas before, he wouldn't. There was no reaction. He was just totally flat at school with him, emotionally flat. And that's what they were worried about more so than anything. Um, and now he's finding his voice, and he's voicing his opinion. Without, throughout these changes, um, do you feel it's had any effect on family relationships with brothers and sisters or yourself? Definitely. Um, whereas before, he would just hit out if he didn't feel comfortable with his brothers and sisters or if he felt there was a problem, he would just attack. Whereas now, he will actually say, go away or you're getting on my nerves. He will tell them or he will come and tell me to tell them, whereas before he would just attack them and it was physically harming his brothers and sisters and now there is none of that, it's more communication, which he was lacking. And what about with yourself, do you, do you feel there's a better relationship there? With, with Definitely, you? because I didn't, you try your best as a mum to uh, help him as much as you can, try and understand him as much as you can. Um, but you can get to that point where you just don't know what to do and you don't know how to help him for the best, what to do for the best. Um, but now uh, we talk more, he will um, come and sit beside me, gives me loves and kisses and I miss you. You know, when he comes in from school, oh, I've missed you all day, Mum. Whereas before, he just, mm, nothing or violence. But now there's proper communication between the two of us and it's lovely. And do you think he feels a lot better about himself now than he did before? Definitely, because there were a lot of things that were hidden away, things that he wouldn't talk about, things that he didn't... He was covering up, he was hiding things, and he didn't want to talk, he was suppressing, suppressing his emotions. Where now, um, 
feel safe in without the blow and you're sort of taken back by it all. Um, but it's communication. He's bringing these deep emotions up to the surface and allowing himself to bring them out rather than getting physical and violent and aggressive with himself or anybody else. And do you find these things easier to cope with than the aggression? Definitely. Without a doubt. Because the aggression is full on. He wants to kill himself. He doesn't want to be here. You know, he wishes he, he shouldn't be here. He's not my child. He was brought to the wrong family. You know, all those things, and they're really sort of hurtful. Um, but now, when he talks and he brings these emotions out and talks to me, it's like being with a different child. Since starting the program, we've seen some really good imp improvements in my, with your son. Would, where do you see it going in the next six months? Um, Michael's recently had um, a school review um, and they're taking steps now to slowly integrate him back into mainstream schools. So hopefully, within that six-month period, he should be back in full-time mainstream school. And I think